boat is from the bottom. From Hanoi to Hong Kong. Like many before her, this Vietnamese artist has come to the Chinese city hoping to find a buyer or at least some recognition. In Hong Kong, a lot of people come and see the, the, the artwork. They, they care about the artwork a lot. It's, um, it's not so much in Vietnam, you know. So this is the very good chance to showcase is, is in Hong Kong. The city's art market is booming driven in part by the fast-growing wealth of Chinese collectors from the mainland. While artists from around Southeast Asia come for exposure, they also hope to make some money. This canvas was snapped up by a German buyer for around $8,000. Just only a half hour, we have sold out one painting. Art from Vietnam, Indonesia, Malaysia and the Philippines is becoming increasingly popular worldwide. Experts say this is because it has a major advantage, its price tag. You can spend 50 or 100,000 Hong Kong dollars and buy a very good quality artist. Um, it would be much harder to buy uh, the same, for example, in China. The prices are that much more expensive. This gallery in the heart of Hong Kong is backing a relative newcomer to the art world, Myanmar. After half a century of isolation, the former military dictatorship is opening up to new ideas across the board. In the 1980s, its capital had only two art galleries. Today, it boasts around 30. The country is producing dozens of successful artists with a particular selling point. Chinese painters paint very quick and they paint quantity. The Burmese artists don't do this. They tend to paint less paintings, but of much higher quality. Currently, a piece from Myanmar can sell for several thousand dollars, a snip in today's art world. And with the value of Asian art increasing year on year, the future for Burmese and other artists across the region is a bright one.